I'm about to share something that might shock you about those supplements sitting in your cabinet right now. I see men every week who are doing everything right, eating clean, lifting hard, getting good sleep, yet their testosterone is still in the gutter and nearly every time it comes back to a healthy supplement that's quietly killing their progress. Have you been feeling more tired lately? Notice your gym gains have stalled or your drive just isn't there anymore? These aren't just signs of aging, they're red flags and that health supplement in your cabinet might be the thing silently wrecking your testosterone. Low testosterone isn't just about your libido. It controls your energy, mood, muscle growth, mental sharpness, your whole edge as a man. And if your test levels are crashing despite clean eating, good sleep, and lifting heavy, it's time to ask, is your supplement stack the silent saboteur? Let's start with the first big one, high dose multivitamins, especially ones overloaded with zinc and iron. These maximum strength pills promise more health, but your hormones don't want more. They want balance, too much zinc. It can shut down your natural testosterone production and even block copper. More isn't better, it's hormonal sabotage. At first, zinc does help if you're deficient, no doubt, but once you hit healthy levels, around 11 milligrams a day, taking more doesn't boost anything. In fact, it backfires hard. Studies show mega doses like 50 to 100 MJ can shut down your reproductive axis, the system that makes testosterone. Your body slams the brakes and stops producing what it thinks you have too much of. But it gets worse. Too much zinc can block copper absorption and without copper, your testosterone takes another hit. Research shows copper deficiency can reduce sperm quality and lower hormone production. So while you think you're helping your T levels, you're accidentally removing a key mineral that keeps everything running. Your body doesn't need extreme doses, it needs balance. Now let's talk about iron, another hidden danger. Unlike women, men don't lose iron monthly so it builds up over time. Too much iron can damage your testes and pituitary gland, the organs that control testosterone production. It's like rust forming on the engine of your hormonal system. Yet many multivitamins still load iron into men's health formulas without warning you. Here's where it gets even crazier. Excess iron builds up in the testes and pituitary gland, causing oxidative damage right at the source of your testosterone. That's like throwing sand in your engine. Studies show men with high ferritin levels and iron storage marker have significantly lower testosterone, and yet many health supplements completely ignore this risk. Now let's talk about mint supplements. Sounds harmless, right? But mint contains compounds like menthol, that can tank your testosterone and raise estrogen levels. Studies have shown this over and over. You're popping peppermint for digestion, but behind the scenes, it's quietly sabotaging your hormones. I had a client, Mike, taking mint daily for his digestion. After just three months, he felt exhausted, lost muscle, and his libido tanked. We ran his labs, testosterone had crashed, the only change, mint. Once he cut it out, his energy, strength, and hormone levels rebounded fast. Mint wasn't healing him, it was hijacking his hormones. Next up, licorice root. It's marketed as a natural fix for digestion, coughs, or adrenal fatigue. But the main compound, glycerizic acid, can wreck testosterone. It blocks key enzymes you need to make testosterone, while also raising cortisol, the stress hormone. That combo crushes your hormone balance fast. Big brands like Nature's Bounty, Gaia Herbs, and Swanson all sell licorice root, but almost none mention this dangerous hormonal side effect. One of my clients was using it daily thinking it was harmless and his testosterone plummeted in just weeks. If you're taking licorice and feeling drained, this might be the root of the problem. Let's talk about flaxseed. It's labeled a superfood packed with omega-3, S, and fiber. Sounds great, right? But here's what they don't tell you. Flax is loaded with lignans, compounds that act like estrogen in your body. These lignans bind to testosterone and remove it from circulation, lowering your T levels and raising estrogen. That's the opposite of what most guys want. Don't let Flax's superfood status fool you. Those same lignans that block testosterone also interfere with enzymes. Your body needs to produce it in the first place. So now not only is testosterone getting removed from your system, but your body is making less of it. You're left with lower testosterone and higher estrogen a hormonal nightmare for men. Think flax is the worst of it? Think again. Soy protein isolate is in tons of products from your favorite protein shake to bars and health snacks. 
but soy is loaded with phytoestrogens, plant compounds that mimic estrogen in your body. And the more you consume daily, the more they chip away at your testosterone levels. The truth is soy protein isolate is everywhere. It's even found in products marketed to boost testosterone. Talk about ironic. The danger isn't just a one-time shake. It's daily exposure. Over time, these estrogen mimicking compounds start tipping the hormonal balance and your T levels take the hit. I know this all sounds overwhelming. You've been told these supplements were healthy, it's even essential, but now the science is clear. What's marketed as wellness can quietly dismantle your hormonal foundation. The good news, most of this damage is reversible, but only if you stop. The supplement industry is a billion dollar beast and most brands won't warn you about these hormonal side effects. But that's why channels like this exist, to cut through the noise and bring you the science that actually protects your health. You deserve real answers, not marketing hype. If you've been taking any of these supplements, don't panic. The damage isn't permanent. In most cases, your testosterone can rebound quickly just by removing the trigger. Your body wants to thrive. Sometimes it just needs you to get out of the way. You've got the knowledge now, so use it. Read labels, question the hype, and remember, just because it says natural or healthy doesn't mean it's helping you. Cut the junk. Let your hormones breathe. Your energy, strength, and drive are worth protecting. If this opened your eyes, take action now. Check your supplements and cut the ones killing your testosterone. Drop a comment and let me know your experience. And if you want more science-backed fitness and health tips, hit subscribe and join the Toon Fit Legends crew. Remember, build better together.